Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a little speculation on some of the hints we've gotten from the trailers for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that seem to show off Hisuian Pokemon in this new region, which leads us to believe there's going to be some references and some connections to Pokemon Legends Arceus. At least to me, one of the most surprising things we've seen from the trailers for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet up to this point was the inclusion of Hisuian forms. Specifically, we have a screenshot and some gameplay of Hisuian Zoroark in this new Scarlet and Violet region. By the way, Pokemon Company, please tell us what the name of the region is. I need to come up with a way to talk about this place without having to use the full names of the games. But it was surprising to me that we saw it, and looking back in retrospect, it probably shouldn't be. Legends Arceus is the most recent game in the franchise. It's the game coming directly before Scarlet and Violet. Generally, when Pokemon opens up a brand new generation, they like to make a lot of references to previous generations. Not only do they make references to Gens 1 and 2 quite often, Gen 4 usually gets some, some highlights as well. Pokemon loves to reference the lore created and utilized in those three regions specifically. But we also get a lot of information and a lot of callbacks to the region of the previous game. This of course is the Sinnoh region and specifically the ancient version of the Sinnoh region which is Hisui. And I think we're going to see a bunch of different callbacks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to this region because one game doesn't do it justice. Game Freak did an incredible job creating the Hisui region. Creating a region that feels brand new but also feels like you've been there before since it is Sinnoh. They did a lot of really good work reconstructing constructing the geography and typography of the region to make it feel familiar while also making it feel fresh. And to just leave it in that same game and not carry anything over into the future, I think would be a mistake. So the fact that we're getting what I believe we're getting is a bunch of callbacks to this game through Scarlet and Violet, I think is an excellent way to continue the legacy of Hisui. One of the ways we've already seen that, of course, is what I referenced previously. We have seen some Hisuian forms in these games. We have confirmation that Hisuian forms are going to continue to be a presence in the Pokemon franchise now and moving forward. Not only have we seen these Pokemon appear in Scarlet and Violet, but we're also getting a couple Hisuian forms given away in Pokemon Go at the moment. You can get a Hisuian Brave at the moment in Pokemon Go through an event. So they are continuing to promote the Hisui region and Hisuian forms in the lead up to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I think that's an important thing to keep in mind with this entire discussion. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that we're probably going to see some lore bits connected between Scarlet and Violet and Hisui. One of the things that Legends Arceus did a really good job in explaining was how this land has come to be colonized. There are other regions that are far more established in terms of human civilization than Hisui is at the time of Legends Arceus. Many of the villagers in the Jubilife Village come from a variety of different regions. The professor brought the starter Pokemon of the Hisui region from these different Different regions to the land of Hisui that you eventually get to have as your starter. These people come from all different walks of life in all different parts of the globe. So I would expect in Scarlet and Violet to get some villagers making callbacks to people of this region traveling to the Hisui region in ancient times and calling it home. Just as in Legends Arceus we saw a bunch of different characters that made reference to some modern Sinnoh characters, I wouldn't be shocked if we saw some references to Hisui characters in Scarlet and Violet. Violet to further those connections. Now, before going further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is always greatly appreciated. Even though we didn't see this lore teased in Legends Arceus, it wouldn't shock me if we learn in Scarlet and Violet that the people of this region had a major hand in some of the colonization of the eventual Sinnoh region. Some other things that we don't necessarily have answers to is how these Hisuian forms are going to end up in Scarlet and Violet. There has been some fan speculation that these forms are going to be lumped in with a brand new gimmick of forms. Forms, something to do with past Pokemon and future Pokemon. That is a fan speculation that is not backed up by anything we've seen in the trailers or anything we've seen in advertisements. 
I love the idea. I think it's interesting to retroactively fit these Pokemon into a new niche in Scarlet and Violet. I think it would give them a lot more lifetime. I think it would allow them to shine in a competitive scene and be able to broad be brought in easier. Maybe you could catch them and use them in the region instead of having to wait until the post game to get them. There's a lot of different ways they could do it. But let's assume for a moment that these Hisuian forms are not able to be caught in the base game. Let's say you have to bring them in through Pokemon Home. I think that connection will obviously be there. They've been putting forward Pokemon Home updates over the last couple months that allow connection between BDSP and Legends Arceus and the other games. So that connection is getting built in and it's gonna last into the future. But I just wanna make a plea to Game Freak and to the Pokemon company. Listen to me. I understand that you have a philosophy behind why you delay the update of Pokemon Home until the next following year, usually early on in the year for a brand new game release. They have done, they did it with Pokemon Bank back on the 3DS. The games come out in October or November, and we don't see the update to push through old Pokemon until the earliest December, the latest sometimes February, and it was even longer this year, much longer for some reason. I understand you do it for competitive viability and you do it because you want players to get the most out of the Pokedex in that game. You don't want to see them just import old Pokemon and blaze through the game. I understand all of that. Your fans are smarter than you give them credit and your fans can pace them better than you give them credit. Don't lock this update months down the road. When Scarlet and Violet come out, a week in, patch Pokemon home. Let us bring some of these Pokemon in. If there are going to be a selection of roster characters that aren't in the base Pokedex but can be brought in, that would be great. If they're going to give us a full national dex, which I don't think they will, this would also be great. Trust your fans. Trust your player base. Don't... Why does it matter if, if a kid wants to bring in an Arceus and blaze through the game? It's not your decision. I'm not going to do that. Other fans aren't going to do that. Allow this connection to exist. If it's a development time issue, something has to be looked at because that sort of development shouldn't be pushed to the back burner and not prioritized directly when the game is getting ready to come out. I hate that the Pokemon Company and Game Freak do this with every single update. I have done whole videos where I have sections discussing this. If that's the way that Hisuian forms are going to be introduced into Scarlet and Violet, consider me not a fan. I would love to bring some of these Pokemon in. I used Hisuian forms, of course, on my team in Legends Arceus, and hopefully through the Pokedex entries of some of these Hisuian forms, we get a bunch of more lore bits and information on these Pokemon in modern times. What does the modern day Pokedex in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have to say about these ancient Pokemon? So many of them seem to just flat out be extinct in modern times. So how does that get retconned or explained, or how does that get delved into more by the professor? professors and the researchers of the region when you have these Pokemon present. We know they're going to be. The question is, how do they get implemented? And how are we going to see people in the, in the uh, Scarlet and Violet region? I almost said Hisui region because God forbid this region has a name. How are we going to learn about their connections to the Hisui region of the past? And how is the connection between the Scarlet and Violet region and the Sinnoh region of modern times? There's a lot of interesting connections they could make here. They could make references to Diamond and Pearl if they want to as well. BDSP and Legends Arceus are pretty much equally tied together as the most recent Pokemon games. They're different types of games. They're the most recent to come out. They're so close to each other. So it would not shock me at all if there were also some links between the Sinnoh region and this Scarlet and Violet region as well. But what do you guys think? Are you excited to see Hisuian forms in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Do you think we're going to learn more lore about the Hisui region and its possible connection to Scarlet and Violet in these games? Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Helps other people find the videos, helps other people engage with the discussions. And with that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.